Welcome to my backyard. My name is Alex. I'm going to show you today how to make a very simple little windmill sort of thing out of a bike wheel, a bunch of water bottles, and some tape. I start with a normal bicycle wheel. This wheel, it's a front wheel with a quick release, has 32 spokes. 32 spokes, I'm going to use 16 water bottles. The tools we're going to use today, a couple tire levers, some heavy duty scissors, a pen, and some tape. First things first, you got to get the tire off. All right, let's put the wheel aside right now. Water bottles, normal plastic water bottles. I want this end. We're gonna make some scoops to catch the wind. We want the cap on. We're gonna take this marker and we're just gonna make a circle just inside the skinny part. All right, we're gonna start cutting the tops off these bottles. You can use some heavy duty scissors, just squeeze it down and then cut around. Follow your line, doesn't have to be perfect. Get rid of that. You can also take a knife. This might be easier for you. Uh, just be careful, obviously, it's sharp. We got everything cut. Let's start putting them on the wheel. These are gonna be like little scoops. They go on the wheel like this to catch air. We need a little tape. Put it on just like that. And get another piece of tape. Do the next one. Another one, just like that. All right, we don't want this this space. We want this space. Two over. You can spray paint this when you're done. You can use different colored tape. Obviously, you want to make sure all the wheel, all the scoops are pointing in the same direction. You're basically making like an anemometer to catch the wind. Now we've got a wind wheel that'll spin when the wind blows. Now we need to balance the wheel. The simplest easy way, just some pennies. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wheel, hold it up vertically, give it a minute, let it find its low spot. Sometimes I jiggle it a little bit, wiggle it. Sometimes I get there. All right, we know this is the heavy spot. So we're gonna put a little penny on the other side. Sometimes you might want to test this out. Don't tape it on all the way so you can add more pennies, but let's just test it. Start it off some other spot. Hold it. 
He's better. There's still a heavy spot here. It's that same spot. Let's try another pen. This time maybe let's test it. Let's just put one. Let's see how we are. Yeah, I think we need another penny. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's turn it, stop it, and let go. Yeah, maybe still a little heavy there. It's going pretty far there away. I think we're pretty good. So for these two pennies, let's put them on here, tape them down a little better. All right. Now, if you want to paint it, now's the time to paint it. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to hang it from a string. And I'll show you what it does in the wind. Thank you very much for watching.